tired of your old planner cover or just looking for something more personal to you? Today I'm going to show you how to DIY your own planner covers and dashboards and we're even going to include some foil. So let's get started. guys it's Larry what I'm showing you here is a dashboard that I just made it has four colors of foil the word vision is in purple vision board is in green the and sign is in silver and inspiration is in a pink melon this is before I have cut the laminate here is the paper before foiling this is the cover before foiling and I have printed this on a laser printer. This part is very important if you're going to be doing foiling. This piece was printed on a laser printer, not an inkjet. And that's the only way to get the foiling to work when you put it through a laminating machine. So here I'm showing you the deco foil that I'm using. The first one um, is the lilac. And I'm just cutting the foil to size. I put down a holographic pearlescent down on that word magic, which I think turns out really, really nice. You'll see in the end. Here is the lilac. And I just made up this saying for my planner cover. This is for Happy Planner Classic. I put 2018, stay wild and believe in magic. And here I just showed you a little trick on how to put the foil back into the containers. I used to not do that and I would bend the foil at the tops when I kind of crush it when I was putting it back in. So that's a little trick for rolling it up and getting it in there correctly. So I've picked out my three colors of foil for my Happy Planner cover. And I'm pulling out my Amazon laminating machine. This is super cheap, cheapest, I think cheapest one on the market. I just bought this. I have another laminator, but I thought I was having trouble with it, so I bought a new one. I'll put a link for this below if you're interested. Um, it only fits um, a love, uh, eight and a half inch, well, nine inch wide paper, so it is limited in that. But you just put it through. This is um, on the five mil setting and you peel your foil up and look at that it sticks right to the toner from a laser jet machine so you have to have toner cartridges not ink look how pretty that is I love it it's just gorgeous so now you can see once it was foiled I sent it through my inkjet printer to get the background color um, I just do that because it's cheaper than doing everything on a laser jet there's the inside cover I printed. It's kind of a moonscape. So I print the color on the inkjet and anything that needs to be foiled goes through the laser jet. Here I'm just cutting it to size to fit my classic, ha classic size Happy Planner. And then I'm gonna be laminating it and I bought laminating sheets through Amazon I'll put a link for that below but I got the 5 mil thickness which I think is really important for a cover it needs to be I would say at least 5 mil if you get any higher than that like a 10 you're gonna have trouble punching holes in it to bind it so I think the 5 mil is perfect 3 mil I think is a little bit too flimsy and flexible for a cover and here you can see I'm using my corner chump, uh, chomper to make the corners nice and rounded. And I use the quarter inch side versus the half inch. There are two different sizes on each chomper. And now I'm just putting it into the laminating sheet. And I do line it up with the grid lines on my paper trimmer that it's sitting on. That way I figure it just helps me to cut straighter lines when I'm actually trimming it to size after it's been laminated. And here's my laminating machine again. And I just, I'm so happy I kind of self-taught my 
my way through this and I'm really pleased with the results. I think they came out fabulous. The only thing I wish I'd done different was maybe make it a little bit more colorful background, but now that I know the technique, I can make any kind of background I want. I can do any kind of foiling I want. Um, but I like the message in the quote that I that I wrote out for myself here. It just seems to fit me, and I really like it. Um, kind of inspirational and fun for the new year. And here I have my Create 365 um, hole puncher for the disc-bound classic size Happy Planner. And you have to put a lot of pressure on here. I find if I grab it with both hands, it will go through better. Sometimes with the laminate, I was finding I had to make a little bit of cut marks to trim off a little bit extra of that laminate. And I am showing you what it looks like. I think it's gorgeous. I really love the different colors of foil. So here are two of the dashboards that I made and I'm showing you how I just trim it out with scissors. It's all hand trimming because um, obviously I can't get those corners with anything else. Here are the scissors I recently bought if you're interested. Um, I think that they're very similar to comparable to the Tim Holtz, but they are only like $7 on Amazon. They're Teflon coated, so they're good for cutting stickers, anything with adhesive. And they're short, so they're good for detail cutting. So I used those. And then I am hole punching this one. And again, I just think this is a really, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a couple step process, but it's fun. And it's really simple once you get the hang of it on how to create anything you want for your happy planner. You can do the dashboards, you can do um, bookmarks, you can do covers, um, dividers, whatever it is that you wanna make, you can do it. And you don't necessarily have to have all these tools that I have, but since I have so much fun with it and I do a lot of crafting, I have all of these tools. I'll have links below if you're interested in shopping for any of them, but they're certainly super, super handy. It makes the job go a lot faster. And now I'm just putting it into my Happy Planner and showing you how I Tried to rise it up a little bit so it stands out. I can open right to that page. And I think it looks pretty cool. So once again, it's hard to see because I've got some bright light there and there's some glare because of the laminate. But I just wanted to show you this page doesn't have any foiling on it, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, it says leave a little sparkle everywhere you go, love you to the moon and back, and I'm just putting it on and showing you the finished product. So if you're interested, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and give it a shot. I mean, you can make covers for your Happy Planner or any planners. In any materials you want, you can foil them or not. You can use um, designer paper. You can print your own paper like I did. I just use regular cardstock. But give it a try. It's super fun and you can personalize it any way you'd like. So that's our DIY for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget my plan with me videos are on Fridays and until next time, be thankful, be kind, and keep living light. Thanks guys.